Hey YouTube friends, SurvivalCraft here. In this video, I'm going to be showing you the purple dead nettle, and I'll be telling you how to identify it, what its nutritional value is, and what its medicinal properties are. Now, purple dead nettles are called dead because they don't sting you, and they're actually part of the mint family. So, uh, some people report that they have a slight minty taste to them, and uh, while that's, that's possible, I've never picked that up. Generally, to me, it tastes like a, a fresh, grassy taste that slowly becomes bitter uh, as it sits on your tongue. And the hardest thing to deal with when you're eating these are the tiny little hairs all over it. They don't irritate your throat or your mouth like some hairy plants do, um, but they, it, 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 how should I say this, it's gritty between the teeth. It's almost like chewing on sand at times. Uh, and so it can be a little unpleasant. However, if you're hungry, you'll get used to it. Um, and these things are high in fiber, they're high in iron, and high in vitamin C. Plus, their, their seeds have a lot of antioxidants. So they're a good all-around plant to eat, and uh, quite nutritious if you're, you're trying to live off the land. Now, as for their medicinal properties, you can take the leaves off of these and you can bruise them between your fingers and put them on a cut. And what that will do is that will help to stop the bleeding and it acts as, uh, it has an antiseptic property that will help that cut heal. Uh, additionally, you can take the leaves, either fresh or dried, and you can take about two tablespoons of them and add them to hot water and let them steep for 10 minutes. And that can be drunk in um, half cups at a time as either a laxative or as a way to aid a, uh, an aching stomach. Now, as for identifying them, they're actually pretty easy to identify. They grow in large patches throughout people's lawns or throughout uh, open areas. Uh, they tend to like the sun, and, but they also seem to like cooler weather. They have, uh, interestingly, they have square stems, which is, is kind of strange. Uh, I don't know if I can pick this up, or if you can, guys can see it. See how the, those aren't lines on a round stem, those are actually corners of the stem. It's a four-sided stem, and that's one of the, the main ways you can identify this plant. Otherwise, the leaves are triangular, and they tend to have their leaves bunched up at the top. They do have some leaves down at the bottom of the stem, but the majority of the, their leaves are bunched towards the top. Also, when they do have flowers, they'll have little tiny purple flowers that can sometimes uh, be a, a pinkish as well. And the leaves, as they get towards the top, have a pink hue. And so those are some easy ways of identifying it. Also, as I mentioned, the whole plant is covered in small hairs. So that also helps you identify it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. This is a great plant to know if you want to live off the land because while they don't grow for very long, they grow in gigantic patches. So you can gather up these things constantly and uh, <laughs> eat to your stomach's delight. Um, so, th so they're a really good plant to know about, not only for their nutritional value, but also for their medicinal value. If you have any questions or comments, please put them in the comment section below, PM me, or feel free to contact me at survivalcraft at gmail.com. As always, thank you guys for watching, and have a great day.